Welcome to Electra Online. Of the three terrestrial planets, besides Earth of course, to which we have traveled, we know way more about Mars than the other two. Mercury is a very difficult planet to get to, and in order to go and visit the planet, being so close to the Sun, being able to slow down enough to go into orbit around the planet and to protect the spacecraft from the enormous temperature of the Sun, it is a very difficult mission. Venus is very difficult to get to as far as landing on the planet and trying to figure out what's going on on the planet because of the enormous temperature and pressure conditions. Mars, in comparison, even though it's very difficult to land on Mars, and we'll get more into that later, at least we can see the surface from space, we can see the surface from Earth, we can land on the surface, we can have rovers going around and taking pictures, and we can take all kinds of measurements. So therefore we know way more about Mars than we do about the other two planets. And so there's a rich amount of information to go through as far as these videos are concerned. So what we're planning on covering is these following topics. We'll talk about the basic properties of the planet, size comparison between Mars and the other planets, we talk about the orbit of Mars, the topography, and any specific significant features. And boy, are there some very significant features on Mars. We'll talk about the polar caps, which are very unique. And there's only other, one other planet in the solar system, Earth, that has polar caps. And there's a lot of similarity between the two. We'll talk about the evidence of the wet past of the planet. There's no doubt that water existed on the planet in the past. We'll talk about the volcanology, there's some very amazing volcanoes on the planet, the geology of the planet, the surface ice, because yes, besides the polar caps, we find ice in other places on the surface, the evidence that we found that liquid water existed on the planet before and that liquid water may still exist today, the carbon dioxide snow that we find on the planet, the rotation of the planet, the concept of the soul of the planet, which is kind of the Martian day, We'll talk about the solar radiation at the location of Mars, the Mars retrograde motion that we see in the sky, the interior of the planet, the magnetic field of the planet. We'll talk about the atmosphere, observing the planet from the Earth, key features of those observations, landing on Mars, which is very difficult, and we'll get into the details then, the Mars Global Surveyor, which has given us the incredible amount of pictures from space, from orbit around Mars, the missions to Mars, and there have been more missions to Mars than any other, uh, uh, any other place in the solar system, including the Moon almost. Let's see, how many missions to the Moon? I think we might have sent more missions to Mars. The rovers on Mars, which have given us tremendous panoramic pictures and much better understanding of the surface. And then we'll talk about the moons of Mars as well. So lots of great topics, lots of detail. And of course, when you take a look at the picture like that, it's unbelievable the amount of information, the amount of pictures, and the details of the planet that we found so far. So we'll have a lot of fun going through all the various topics that we're going to cover about the planet Mars. <laughs> Mars has two moons. Yeah, two, and they're small. They uh, probably are captured asteroids. And one of them... Oh yeah, yeah. They're only like 20, 30 miles across compared to our moon. Yeah, they're fairly small. Although Phobos, the one that's closest to the planet Mars, looked like it might be disintegrating. So there's some interesting things that we're discovering. You mean it's going to pull apart by gravity? That's what we're thinking. And we might even get to see that. I mean, how long do we have to live? <laughs> how long? Well, <laughs> Well, hopefully a long time, but I don't know. It, it's, it almost seems like it's imminent, of course. What does imminent mean in, in astronomy? Yes. A couple million years? It may be in our lifetimes. How long for? Who knows? I would like to see it. That would be quite a sight. 